I've already been notified. Right. Uh, yeah, thanks, Steve. Okay. I've been notified. I I, I'm okay. Not wait on you when you go that's okay. You don't have to wait on me. You're the one that's wasting time and harassing, just to make it really clear. Uh, no, we don't. I haven't done anything to hurt anybody. I'm, uh, I'm not harming anyone. All right, I'm just gonna grab tea and then I'll be done. If I took an ID with a mask, you're not gonna wear one. I do not touch uh, satanic devices. Okay, oh. <laughs> okay. that really took uh, quite an interesting turn at the end there. I do not touch uh, satanic devices. Okay. We're sorry you had to deal with that, Steve. So you want me to go to the restroom? No. Um, to use the rest, to, to wear a mask, to use yes. the restroom? Yes. Anything beyond the door needs to have a mask on. That's just the Starbucks policy. It's a private business. That is their expectation. Okay, so that's what I need. Mean. So you don't care what my disability is? It's not about that. I can adjust my service to be able to help you, but that's just what I need. Where is the restroom I can use? It's inside, but I need the mask on. Where is the restroom I can use? You can go talk to Vons and see if they want to let you use the restroom over there. So there's another public restroom over there. Okay. Yeah, that's just where we're at. So I just spent all this money. Oh, you know what? No. Tell your, tell your child to stop video. Get the out of my face. Don't know. No. Oh, and then the other mom came in hot at the end there, I think. That sounded like maybe it was another person. And she's like, so I just wasted all this time and all this money. I'm like, you're the one wasting time. And that employee made the directions very clear, very simple to understand. And I feel like if he didn't have to, he probably wouldn't because he probably doesn't really want to be having this conversation with you right now. Can I get your name, please? Tim Hortons. Tyler. Tyler? Yeah. You have a last name, Tyler? No. You don't want to give it? That's fine. So you guys, Tim Hortons in Sturgeon Falls, Ontario, refusing service for what? Because you don't have a mask. I don't have a mask. I explained to you I have a, a medical exemption, right? No, you have no right. You have no right to tell anybody what to do and how to do it. Thank you. Have a great day. Can I get? Uh, was, was it you, Miss, that uh, refused my first service the first time? Megan. She has to answer. She's she's working right now, right? Do you have your manager, Tyler? Are you the manager? Tyler, are you the manager, sir? Tim Horton's manager, Tyler. I think it says manager. Yeah, he's the manager. Piss poor service from uh, Tim Horton's manager. Piss poor service. How about your piss poor attitude, man? I, <laughs> Got it. I don't know about that one, but harassing Tim Hortons employees probably doesn't seem like the right way to go about this situation. And I feel like at a Tim Hortons, like you could probably order and find a way to still get service without like going in and not wearing a mask. I feel like you can probably swindle that. So wouldn't you just like be nice and make magic happen that way instead of just being rude? I don't know. Why you want me to leave? And you are not going to have any. We call the police. Yes. Why would you want me to leave? Because you are aggressive and you are making fun. Why are you touching me? Don't touch me, please. You are 25 minutes late. And it just works the way that we've got other patients. We can't take you today. So I asked her politely. I asked her politely. And she politely gave you another appointment. No, she's giving me in July. She's giving me in July. Look here. I'm very sorry, but you are going to have to leave. When Hannah Lee asked you to leave, this is a private... But, but you had an appointment and you were 25 minutes late. Why do people not understand that? You can't just show up whenever you want and then everyone else is supposed to wait around because you showed up late. And then he's upset that they don't have room until July? Well, mister, you probably should have came to your appointment that you had then. So please Why stop. Put your mask on or leave the store. Those are your choices. So I'm not wearing a mask, I'm not following the gear. Then please leave. When, when the president of the United States says I don't need to wear one anymore, but do you think that you have the authority to tell me I do? In our store, yes I do. No, this is not your store. I probably own more of the store than you. I'm stocking the dark. Either you put a mask on or you leave. Those are your choices. Have a nice day. This guy? Oh my gosh. That was painful. This nice employee is just explaining to you why she can't let you shop if you don't wear a mask. And you're like, well, Biden said this. Okay, well, Biden doesn't own this person's store that they work at. Boss man Biden? That poor employee was being way too nice to that person. What's your name? My name is Jason. And who do you, what do you do here? I'm a supervisor, front end supervisor. And, and why are... aren't you letting me in? 
because in the state of California, in the county of Los Angeles, there has been no, and Costco, there has been no change yes, to our mask policy. Not in the state of California or in the county didn't of Los Angeles. Didn't you see the news? You didn't see the news. Nationwide, night, nationwide Costco has said you don't wear, need to wear a mask. Actually, that's not accurate. What, what is accurate? So what is accurate is that Costco always, always goes above and beyond when following the law. And the mandate in California has not changed. Give up your membership to Costco until they remove this. A little selfie video at the end with this call to action. I love it. I get why people don't want to wear masks. I get why people think that like places are removing their mask mandates. So they think that everywhere should, but it is a private business and they can make their own rules. I don't know how to explain that any further. Them's the breaks. Pull up, I'm not leaving. Uh, well, could you please pull up so we could have our food? When I get my sauce. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, so serious about this sauce. Method. I see. I, you're serious, ma'am. Yes, I'm serious. Yes, you're get serious. Yes, sauce. you are. Yes, you are. I'm serious, too. Don't me, you mother Okay. Yes, I'll put my car in reverse now so you Well, I, I'm recording right now, you idiot. So do I. Oh, okay. Well, then you can record yourself being dumb. Is she really that upset about sauce? Where's my sexual sauce? Look, I don't think that the other people should be antagonizing her, but come on, it's just sauce. Like, I love sauce. I love a good dip, but I'm not about to threaten to commit a crime over sauce. No. And we'll definitely... I want her to write we'll right now. I'm not... That's fine. You can have a seat. But you need to calm down. But this is not going to be acceptable. I understand. But it's a White lives matter also. Oh, White wow. lives matter. Okay. This is White lives matter. Yeah. White lives matter. And we don't find it necessary to loot just to find white lives matter. No. No, it's not. No, okay. it's not. With the, what's okay. been going on here, that's we got to pay that's extra security. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I mean, aside from it always being unnecessary for anyone to do that, I feel like it was very much unnecessary in this situation. <laughs> I need to know why, what the context of this whole security situation was in the first place. And I'm sure that what she said <laughs> will not fit the context at all because I don't really know what context you would say that in. 10 minutes for $12? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This economy, you need to get us a good price? Yeah, they're fine. I come here all the time. Well, you're one person. I don't see too many other people. There's three people. other people that were here. They just... Three other people? Wow, that's a lot of people. Why are you coming to pick on him? You're like, so Why are you talking to him? Shut the What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Are you like... You're yelling at a girl! You're yelling at a girl! Yeah, walk away, please. What is wrong with you, dude? Ew. I hated that. Man, good for that girl. Good for that guy. Obviously not the bad one. Obviously. And uh, we hate that man. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Well, I won't speak for all of us, but I will say that I hate that man. And you know, when I say that, I mean that. So what happened was, I came in, I ordered my food, I was respectful. Me and my children all had had masks on. They were a little bit disruptive. We went outside. We came back 10 minutes later. She saw us, like, my kids were running around. She was watching us. I thought it was weird. We came inside, and she's sitting on this end of the bench. And I said, okay, sit down. I'm going to be ready in just a second. It has been 10 minutes since I ordered our food. And then she gets up and starts talking to a random customer about how she doesn't want to be anywhere near my kids. They're not cute, they're gross. We shouldn't be in public. My kids wear all of her masks on. So she's Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Mm. If she really did say that, that's very unnecessary. But we're hearing one side of the story, so I'm not gonna make judgments, you guys. But if that is exactly what happened, then that was pretty messed up. And they're kids. Sometimes kids are gonna be kids. 
We clearly have seen a lot of adults who don't know how to behave, so we can't expect kids to be perfect all of the time. You know? Go over your nose then if you're gonna wear a mask. Yeah, do that, slave. Now put it be down. a good slave. Put it down. Be a good slave. Now put it down. Now go. Oh, I need 20 and pump too. Well, you ain't gonna get surface here. If you don't wanna wear the mask, then don't. Go on. Look at this guy. This is a, this is a modern day you're disgusting, dude. Uh -huh. This is how you treat your customers? Yeah. No, just go ahead. Go on. Pathetic, dude. Go on. Wow. Wow. I have so much respect for that guy for just being kind and calm and just knowing that he is so much above that. Yeah, do that, slave. Now put Be it a good slave. That's brutal that people say stuff like that. It's brutal that there are people who are just trying to do their jobs and have to deal with stuff like that. We saw two people that I really don't like. I'm gonna say that I hate both of them. I don't even feel bad about it. He's being you know, a yes. Okay, and you said that you won't serve me because I won't wear a mask? Oh, I knew it. Okay, so what's her issue? What's that? She's me well, you say the mask doesn't help. It doesn't help. So, it does help. It does help. You, okay, so you're being rude. I want to talk to somebody with some common sense. I understand. Because I'm not yelling and screaming. I don't want to fight. I'm an American with a disability. Oh, I hate this. You can ask me to, but you can't make me. I have a respiratory problem, and I can't wear masks. Ninety percent of like Karen videos and freak out videos right now is all about masks. That's literally it. I am so happy that New York just announced they are free from all COVID restrictions. That means we will not see any future Karen videos about masks coming from New York. <laughs> the rest of the world, probably. Excuse me? You've seen me here several times before. I'm trying to buy groceries for my family. Oh, here we go. So are you gonna ring me up? Are you going to ring me up, sir? I, I would be happy to video you. Why are you not ringing me up? Because we told you you're no longer allowed to shop here. Why am I no longer allowed to shop because here? The way you I, yesterday. How did I behave? You behaved very badly. <gasps> how did I behave badly? I wore a mask the entire time. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, goodbye. You Nobody asked for your video? opinion. You want to put that on video? No, I, I just want to get I'm your... I'm sure she's got the volume on and people go. can hear the... Oh, my totally God. I'm not letting it go. This is illegal. Everybody that this is here. illegal. I'm trying to buy groceries. This is gonna Stop. be on the news. I'm gonna report you to corporate. I will find out your last name, Sean, if you're the manager here. I am the manager. Okay, well, oh, I'll find wow. out your last name and I'll make sure that they know that you are refusing me service because my they son with story. autism did not wear a mask. Everybody in this store would like for people to wear masks. Oh, God. I told you, masks. It's always about the masks. I don't think this made news headlines but i feel like so many people got involved and they were like punishing her like a preschooler they're like mm, you behaved badly so you're not allowed to shop here and she was there yesterday you naughty naughty you teasing me you naughty naughty i don't know but her behavior is what seems to be the problem here how's it going guys good how are you good good having a good day oh, yeah okay. how about you good 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 i know why you guys are here we're here to shop. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Here we go. Here we go. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No problem if you guys want to shop. No problem if you guys just want to grab your groceries. Okay. We told everyone oh, to good. maintain their distance, be polite and respectful, and respect other people's rights because we don't want special treatment. We just want to be honored as yeah. shoppers. Oh, good. Oh, you, right? Thank, you. Thank you. I understand all that, truly. Thank you. And like I was telling your friends over there, I don't want to tell you guys what to think, what to do, what to believe, anything like that. Yeah, we honor that. I just, I would ask kindly that you guys understand here at TJ's and what we're doing, we're just trying to work, make a living. Uh, hey, I get it. The difference Absolutely. you guys are trying to make isn't going to be made with us. We're, what do you, can be we're just shopping. With your government. Well, no, no, no. We're no, just shopping. I'm not talking about the shopping. I'm yeah, not talking about that what is you guys true. You're right. Totally understand that. So are they letting them in without a mask? I'm confused. This guy, bless his soul for trying to keep the peace here. You can just tell he's trying so hard to say, like, I'm not trying to push anything on other people. Everyone has the right to do what they want. But he's the guy, kindly ask you to please wear a mask. They're not going to wear a mask. No, I want to go to the Come on. Let's go inside, honey. Come on. Let's go outside. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. What is happening?
going? That <laughs> Usually we see like the customer throwing things and breaking things, but no, this employee said not today. It's my time to shine. Their like patience level was this thin. Ooh, that's kind of small. Probably lost their job too, which is not fun. Is this gonna meet my needs right here, what Robert says? This is all bull I want my $80. I don't wanna hear what your problem is returning this. It's not health reasons. They're lying. That's bull yeah. I spent $35 on these. This is the second time I've come in here. You can talk to the gentleman out there. Second time. No, you're not stealing my money. I'm getting my money back. So Th I can return that, but I can't return this. Okay, you literally are working for a corrupt organization and you're looking at a customer that has spent hundreds of dollars here. And you're literally, because they say on a piece of paper, you mo you're acting like a robot. Oh my Treat God. people like people. Oh I'm, tr I'm trying to. That's just the policy we have to go by. That's the problem. I'm trying to teach you, kids. You can't just go by the policy. That <laughs> you tell the manager. What do you this mean? This policy isn't good because really this person has gone, come in here several times, and these what? keep breaking. So the policy of. Oh, sorry, lady, you have 15 days, and sorry, it's a health concern, is not in the customer's best interest. Ay, ay, ay. I can't, man. I'm so happy I'm out of retail and customer service and stuff. There's no freaking way I'd be able to deal with this. You can't just go in there and be like, I'm trying to teach you kids that it's not okay to just follow the policies. I don't go make burgers where you work and then tell you how to make burgers. <laughs> Lady, what are you talking about? This is my job. I don't write the policies, but if I work there, I'm going to follow the policies because I'm not losing my job over you. Are you crazy? You waited till after the 15 days to return it. What are you gonna do? Walmart. So I can't get my medication because you don't take American money. Oh my God, are you serious? Is that what you're saying? You don't take American money? Oh God. So that's what it sounds like you're claiming. Well, they can't. So you can't take American money. What? Ridiculous. It's American money. You give it back in change every day. What is so hard? Ridiculous. Oh God, you're just they making a mess, to sir. Money to buy medication and you won't take it. Not everybody is rich, you know. Not everybody has a credit card. This is money. It's taken at every bank in the United States. It's taken at every business in the United States except apparently Walmart. He's getting so angry and he's getting so frustrated that he's getting all flustered and he keeps dropping it. Okay, so apparently Walmart is not taking American cash. I guess he makes the point that not everyone has a credit card or a debit. I feel you have to have a debit card though. No? It is for you to wait until I'm done speaking, and then you speak. It's common courtesy. Okay, that's Simple. my bad. It's common courtesy. Now, I asked you for a bean vanilla cabana, and you told me that you didn't service them here, and I can show you a thousand receipts that I get those all the time. Oh my okay? God, now, this is all a drive a sudden, through. the machine is down. So I'm going to need the corporate number. I don't want to have to talk to you anymore. Okay. I just need the corporate number and your name and your badge number because I will be calling in. That's fine. God, I don't actually corporate. have the number. Give me the corporate number. I don't want to hear anything. Oh my God. So this person actually filmed themselves dealing with the Karen at a drive through <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh. So I don't have the corporate number. We don't hold it in store. Okay. Trust me, I will oh, find that. That's fine. Take care, Pamela. <laughs> I do love though that they're like, give me your badge number. And they're like, what, a badge number? What, do I look like a police officer? I work at friggin' Dunkin' Donuts. What do you mean badge number? <laughs> I have a name on my name tag. That's about it. And half the time when I worked at Tim's, I always forgot my name tag. So I would take whoever's was in the back in the break room that they left there and I would just put it on. So I was Amanda some days, Sarah the next. Is what it is. <laughs> That's why I got Sarah fired. <laughs> no. Um, Ma'am, ma 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 this is Sunday. I need you to calm down. This is Sunday. Give me my phone. Ma'am, I need you to calm down. Oh, God. Call me. Oh, no. You down to spit on her. Have a blessed day and never come back to my house. I don't have to. Have a good day. Oh, my God. I'll shake your wedding. 
Jesus, get the oh, out of my Oh, that's a holy Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Oh, that manager is a whole Jesus mood. She's like, ma'am, this is Sunday. Jesus be with you. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. <laughs> She's really out here. She just came from church. It's very cold outside, so she doesn't want to go downstairs to get her food and insists that the delivery driver deliver it to her doorstep. The problem here, though, is this oh, delivery boy. driver is not allowed to go to the customer's door at the moment for health and safety reasons. Uh -oh. This customer refused to believe that, though, and demanded that the food be taken to her doorstep. Otherwise, she was going to report the employee and get him in trouble. The serious? employee and the customer get into an argument between each other before the employee finally snaps and quite literally starts eating her food right in front of her. The customer is so upset that she had her food eaten by this delivery driver that she even threatens oh to beat him God. up. Let's have a look. No, because I need my Just food go upstairs. and get it. I ordered it. I'm not going up. I'm not going downstairs, darling. No, I'm not going downstairs. That is the laziest, most annoying thing I've ever seen in my life. If you wanted your Uber food that bad, you would just go down and get it. Just because it's cold, you won't go get it. I would just leave. I would leave and I would eat that food myself. Ready? What? You guys are being recorded. I wanna know why my coupon is not accepted at Dairy Queen. I'm, yeah. re I'm recording you right Dude. now. Ma'am, it's only the participating in the cash and Yes, you gave me a coupon. You gave me one yesterday, and that's the reason why she, she won't give me nice. one today. Nice. Can I get her name, please? I need her name. She took my order. I have oh, all right boy. to know her name. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody nice it. Somebody I don't it. want the thing anymore. I need her name to report no, her. No, report. You're going to report it in my store. Yeah, I'm going to report <laughs> you to the corporate <laughs> office because I'm not playing. This manager doesn't even care. So, like, he's literally telling you, okay, I want you want to report her. Report her to me, to my store. You're technically reporting her right now in this moment talking to the manager. And he doesn't care about your coupon. There's a lot of crazy couponers out there. They take that sh real seriously. Look, they got the medicine. She just told me to go over there and talk to this lady for the medicine. And I told them, I don't need nobody talking to me. She gonna just tell me that I gotta have to come over here for that to ring me up. Why don't you just ring me up? Let me go. I just wanna go. Let me get my prescription. Oh yeah! Oh, let me get my prescription. Don't touch me. Let me get my prescription and leave. Let me get my Somebody needs to give that woman her prescription. <laughs> that little girl's like, I don't even know where to look. I don't know where to go. I don't want to be here. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. She's like, can somebody give my mother her prescription, please, so we can just go? Because I'm tired of people being disrespectful to me. I How am I disrespecting you? I'm, I just told I just you. Was no, you were I not. Was so get the f out. Politeness. Get the f You know what? No, I'm going to post this clip on something. I am recording this. Talk, maybe we can have a conversation. Are you serious? But you're being an ignorant person right now I'm by not ignorant? having a conversation. I'm being no, ignorant. You are being ignorant. You are rude you're and you're pushing me out in front of my kids. Is and a kid or not? You don't care. You, no, it's a kid, dude. You don't care about my kids. No, are you care. serious? I don't care about you or your kids or your money or your problems or your bull. Are you serious? All I have to deal with your every time. Are you serious? I literally told you. Are you serious? You know what? You know what? I wonder why your boss feels. My boss loves me. You know who hates you? Everybody. I am rude. rude. I am rude. You're rude. You're rude. Me? Are you, you serious? Are you? Okay, go off. I wish I knew what happened before because I do kind of feel like this man might be speaking facts, but I can't really make a judgment because I wasn't there. What I would have given to be a little fly on the wall for that situation beforehand. What went on? What happened? I need to know. If anybody has the full video, link it down below in the comments. <laughs> Hear me out and like get to the resolution of this, you can leave without your color on. Are you gonna 
I remember when this went viral. So first of all, I know everyone has already said this, but that girl could play Shailene Woodley in a movie. But also, I just love the way that she handled this situation. She didn't have to be that nice, but she was, you know? She's like, Robin, let's get to the bottom of this. What's going on, girl? You can't, Robin, it ain't cute. And then, <laughs> to try and that, mm. Robin, what are you gonna do, girl? Really? You're wearing a cape, you got foil in your hair. That's not the time to try and strike someone. Police in New York are looking for the woman who smashed a window of a Popeye's restaurant because a soda didn't come with her meal. The incident happened at a Staten Island Popeye's around 8.30 at night on April 8th. Security video shows a woman flipping off employees, then attacking the window with a sign. She then takes a chair and uses it to smash one of the windows. An employee said the woman was drunk and angry because the $4 wicked good deal didn't come with a soda. <laughs> okay, I could not be a news person because having to say that with like a straight face or like a straight tone would be impossible for me. She smashed a window because her meal didn't come with a soda. <laughs> like, imagine! If I was working at that Popeyes, I probably would have just given her a drink. But they don't have to. They definitely don't have to. And maybe like their manager was there, you know, and maybe their manager wouldn't have been cool with that. So I understand. You're finished in business. Dang, you're. I'm showing this to the police, by the way. Go ahead. Oh yeah, woo! You don't think I have to go tell you? So what? All right, go ahead. I'm calling the police on you. I'm gonna show them the video. And they're gonna gladly be happy. Go ahead, I'm gonna show the police. Oh, I'm so scared. That's perfect. That I, literally, that's beautiful. Now go ahead. Go ahead. Shove the phone up your sideways. Yep. Okay. Police is gonna see this. They're gonna love hey, this phone. Oh yeah. From who? You? Yeah. <laughs> I like that he's like, you're finished in business. I love that. That's my favorite thread I've ever heard in my life. What does that mean? I don't know. Any business ever? You're finished? I guess this guy has a lot of power. And I'm gonna make a call to the Better Business Bureau. I'm gonna start saying that to people. You're finished in business. <laughs> what? I need you to stop harassing the customers. Come back here. Come behind the register. I got you on recording. I'll show this to the cops. <laughs> Come back here. I'll show this to the cops. You lame-o. What did you say? You lame -o. Oh my god, what? you're me. What did you say? Lame-o. Oh. What's that? It means you're a loser. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> What is going on in this video? <laughs> I honestly don't even know what to say about it. And I like the like running like you're gonna do something, but knowing that you really can't do anything. Also, lame -o. I don't like loser. I don't know why. I just don't really like that word very much, but lame -o, I do kind of like. Lame-o. You know what you are. Please leave. Oh, I'm leaving. You're gonna be leaving nice soon too, I promise you that okay. no good Okay, that's fine. You guys wanna call day. racism? You're more racist than the fucking white person I've ever been. Okay. Fucking black. Okay, that doesn't bother me. Okay, have a good day. Don't don't dance around on your porch like Holy, I hope this lady feels like really cool and good about herself that she just made herself look like an absolute fool while the other woman was just going, I really don't care, just leave. Like, <laughs> And the lady who like obviously works there is clearly doing the right thing because why would you care about somebody who's making an absolute fool of themselves like that? Chaos at 34 McDonald's stores over these meals inspired by the Korean boy band BTS. There was so much demand, the first day of sales ended with overturned tables and chairs. To cut down on crowding, the meal was only available through delivery or the drive through window. But that didn't work. A backlog of delivery drivers led to crowding anyway as they grew anxious to fill orders. 
Things got so out of hand, police in Indonesia had to stand behind the counters and ultimately the stores were closed. Holy smokes. Yo, BTS fans are like no other fans. They are diehard and there's so many of them. It is crazy, like, okay, nobody come for me. I'm just asking a question. But isn't the BTS meal just like something you can get all of the time, but it, then it's just like a special sauce or something like that? Then let's see who this BTS meal really is. Quickly. 10 piece chicken nugget meal. Oh, and I guess it has that packaging. Wasn't somebody selling their BTS meal packaging on eBay? What? Here's what I have to say about this. See this bullshit? Yep. Today. Thank you. Yep. Good. Good. Oh. Oh. Me. Now get the out my drive through. Oh. Wow. Yeah, record, yeah. Record that. I am. Yeah, you can. <laughs> You can record me. You now just curse me out up and down. We recorded each other. Now what? What the? I didn't God? do anything. Look at the you way you're you talking. She gives me that um, cash me outside girl vibes. You know, what's that girl's name? Bad baby. <laughs> so her stage name is now. That's the kind of vibes that that girl gave me. You know. About 9:30 a.m. on August 6th, the customer begins to argue with a worker over her order. There is no audio, but witnesses told police that the customer became verbally abusive toward the staff. As the argument escalates, the worker slaps at the customer and may have contacted her face slightly. That's when the situation turned violent. The customer tried to get behind the counter and had to be pushed back out the door by other workers. When she couldn't get behind the counter, she started throwing things. A retired law enforcement officer in the restaurant tried to intervene. The woman in the red hair only became more angry. She shoved a plexiglass barrier at the staff, striking a worker in the side of the head. <laughs> what I would give for there to have been audio in that video. <laughs> and I like that the news person was like, and they may have like slightly contacted her face or whatever. She clearly got slapped. We can all see it with our own eyeballs. And honestly, I think that slap spoke for a lot of McDonald's employees. <laughs> I think there's so many McDonald's employees out there that would kill to be able to do that. But don't, violence is bad, okay? Clip eight. I just yelled that. I have stock in it. I own more than of this store than you do, blah, blah, blah. You're not my boss. Just because you bought stock one time because your buddy listened to Joe Rogan and then he second-handedly gave you Joe Rogan's advice does not mean you own the store and you can just do whatever you want. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's gonna be somebody who's like, how can you say you hate somebody you don't even know? I just, I just did. I, yeah. I feel like there could be like nine parts of rude customers because everyone's freaking rude. Oh my God, the day we don't have to wear masks. How exciting. But we just passed Israel for the highest, second highest vaccine country. Sorry. We're getting there. Coming for you, US. Hit me where it hurts. <laughs> oh, is this my intro or are you doing 10 first? <laughs> Did you ever work in customer service or retail, Chris? Um, or anything like that, like restaurant? Yeah, actually. You did? Managing, uh, oh, yeah, no. Oh, <gasps> did you deal with some rowdy customers? Oh, can't relate. <laughs> when I worked at Marshall's like clothing store, oh my God, it was all about returns and things like this, like issues. Like, I'm like, I can't return it. Like that's the rules and they'd get mad. And yeah, it sucks. Man, and also, we see a lot of like crazy McDonald's freakouts, but the real freakouts happen at Subway, I swear to God. 
Oh, I didn't even really notice the beeping. I feel like that's just like a constant Toronto sound. It's just beeping. <laughs> Lame-o, I just wanna like try it on, you know? You know, if somebody's just like, I don't care, and then you're just yelling, <laughs> and she's clearly getting mad because she's getting no reaction out of her, which I love. Well played by that employee lady.